Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. This coming Wednesday, September 23rd, there's going to be a virtual job fair organized by the Conseil de développement économique de la Nouvelle Écosse, CDNE, Université Sainte Anne, the municipality of the county of Inverness, Nova Scotia Works, Radios de KGM, and also us who are providing broadcasting services. We're going to broadcast a presentation before the fair live on our Facebook page on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Later, at 11, you can participate through Zoom. To give you more details about the jobs, all offered by the same company, Support Services Group, and what they could do for economic development in the community, here's our panel discussion with Lisa Lavin from Support Services Group, Lucille Timmons from Sedene, and Alfred Poirier, District 1 Councillor for Shady Camp, Pleasant Bay and Midcove. Here's our conversation. My name is Alfred Poirier and I'm the Municipal Councillor for District 1, which is Shettekamp, Pleasant Bay and Mead Cove, and also the Deputy Warden for Inverness County. Bonjour, uh, my name is Lucille Timmons. I work for the CDNA, which is Le Conseil de Développement uh, Économique de la nouvelle Cas, uh, Community Economic Development for Nova Scotia. My name is Lisa Lavin, and I am the Director of Operations for Support Services Group. Great, thank you. So I'm going to start with the questions. Um, so first of all, Lucille, if you could tell us about the job fair on Wednesday. Okay, so uh, the CDNA was contacted by a Support Services Group um, to ask for some help in finding between 10 to 20, uh, at first it was bilingual, home, uh, work from home agents in our Shetty Camp region. Um, and then it turned to be that they are looking also for English agents as well. So um, we partnered with Nova Scotia Works to help us organize uh, a job fair and to be able to contact as many people as possible um, because um, I'm, I'm, we're certain that here in our uh, seasonal workforce, um, I'm sure there's people that are going to be wanting to uh, turn that into uh, uh, full-time work from home positions. So that we, we seen that it was a great opportunity. So we, we also partnered um, with the municipality, uh, Université Satan, which is our, our local university here in Shetty Camp, uh, St. Joseph Des Moines region, and K Breton Partnership as well. So they're gonna help us um, promote um, this job fair, which is gonna be taking place on Wednesday. Um, hopefully if the hurricane allows us to do so, um, it's going to be virtual, uh, which uh, uh, with the help of CHNE, uh, which will be, uh, we'll be using their Facebook uh, page to do a Facebook Live short uh, session. Um, and then we'll go on to um, promote, let the, the people know that we'll be going to a Zoom um, program from there where uh, the age and anyone that's interested can come on board to the Zoom and uh, get some more information about what this opportunity is all about and they'll be able they'll be given the opportunity to if they are really interested we can they um, the company the support services group will be able to interview them otherwise virtually, or they'll be given the opportunity if they want to by appointment, they can come to the university here in St. Joseph and when and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the company, so. Lisa, could you tell us more about the company? Yes, absolutely. Um, actually, Support Services Group has been around since 1981, and we've, been, we've had a presence in North Sydney um, for 19 years. Um, just a little backstory. I opened the doors in North Sydney back when we opened the contact center here um, as their site director and um, have gone on for, for other opportunities. And I've just returned and what an exciting time because the company is growing in leaps and bounds. We actually have 18 contact centers globally. 
uh, U.S., Canada, Panama, uh, Dominican Republic. So it's a, it's a pretty big um, organization. And they are here to stay. They're really committed to North Sydney and love the, uh, or actually the whole of Nova Scotia and love the uh, talent here. And now with COVID, we're seeing uh, more and more opportunities with our customers um, who are looking to service their customers who are shopping more digitally or looking for more customer service over the phones or in chat and email. Um, so although we will be starting with a high-end specialty fashion retailer, there are going to be a lot more opportunities and jobs, both full-time, part-time, or casual, whatever people are interested in. We do operate 24 by 7, so there's uh, plenty of um, flexibility for shifts and things like that with people who have children. And so we're really excited about the opportunity to partner um, with the team in Shetty Camp and surrounding areas and looking for not only, uh, as Lucille said, bilingual speaking folks, but also English. Could you tell me what would people be doing on the job? What does it consist of? It's, it's typically inbound customer service. Most of them will start off on the phones, but then there'll be opportunities for advancement or other types of work like chat and email. Um, I think that's it. I mean, basically bring your, bring your, your high energy, your commitment and um, excitement and motivation, and we'll train you uh, for, uh, we, it's paid training, uh, all paid benefits, a really great opportunity uh, for people who want to do something else. Alfred, uh, what do you think about this opportunity for Shitty Camp? Uh, well, as a counselor, I, I think it's a great idea, you know, and uh, as counselor uh, and as we move along with technology, I think it's, uh, and especially with uh, fiber op coming in in the next few months, you know, in the September and October, I think this should be a, or will be uh, an opening to other, uh, you know, uh, such ventures. I, I feel it is great. And I think it's uh, a good time to, especially with the new, uh, the new norm and uh, the visual and all, information coming in and out which we live in a very uncertain time is that uh, i think it is great because as we move along we have a lot of people here and employment is very high and we have a very you know very good base of uh, bilingual and uh, english people all across you know from the margaries and uh, you know it, you know, all around Pleasant Bay, we go with my district, which is uh, very uh, open to everybody. And I think it is a, it's a great uh, introduction uh, for me and uh, the, the, my district as a whole, you know. Lisa, um, are the jobs uh, under contract or is this permanent work? It is permanent work. Um, permanent full-time. We've had the, this client for many, many years, so um, we suspect that um, we will continue to work with them. But we also have 10 clients in the North Sydney area that we could open up other opportunities for associates in those areas. Um, and just to kind of add on to what Alfred said, it's really a great opportunity for work from home. Like we've always brought people into the site and now we've got the infrastructure set up to be able to train remotely and people can work from the comfort and safety of their home. I think that's a, that's a big deal. And then there are other opportunities coming with other clients um, after we kick off this session. Um, the first training class will be September 28th. What is the pay going to be? It's, it's upwards of $15 an hour for bilingual associates, 14 for English. And what do people need? How can people prepare? For, do they need to have a laptop? What do they need to work from home? We provide the equipment. 
Um, so they don't need that. They need a high speed connection. And we will have um, a link on our Facebook page during the job fair where they can go and test their connection to make sure that that meets the requirements. Um, and then we'd also provide the training. So really to bring themselves in their um, excitement. And they, the, you know, the background really is to have a customer service focus um, and really like to help and talk to people um, will be important. So Lucille, can you tell me about the fair? What is it going to look like on Wednesday? What can people expect? So at 10 a.m., um, we'll be starting the Facebook Live uh, feed from um, here at the university sat down with the help, with your help, of course, Paula. Um, we're looking at probably around maybe 15 minutes to the, to the Facebook Live uh, introduction. It's gonna be um, just a, a briefing of uh, what the company is, Support Services Group, um, their legitimacy, of course, uh, and a bit of explanation of what they're looking for. And then there'll be um, the, the link for the people to join on Zoom at 11 o'clock, um, where there there'll be uh, PowerPoint presentations by the company um, explaining in detail what's gonna be, what's, what's, um, what they want from, from what the agents. Um, and then from there, uh, they'll be given the opportunity to otherwise have a private interview virtually over Zoom. We will have breakout uh, rooms where they can have a one-on-one -on -one, um, and where they'll be able to upload their resume as well. Or if they're more comfortable, a lot of people here um, in the rural areas, um, and especially now with COVID that we, we haven't, we've done so much over virtually that uh, people are kind of itching um, to have that face on face to face um, personal. So they'll have the opportunity to buy appointment uh, Wednesday through the day. And if it overflows into Thursday, however long it takes to do those interviews, they'll have the opportunity to, to come here by appointment. They'll have uh, a bit of a screening, COVID screening, of course, um, in, in our buildings. Um, where they can bring their resume and have that one on one with the company. And then from there, um, the company will uh, take that all back with them uh, to North Sydney and analyze and, and discuss on who they'll be able to hire. And then they'll come back um, with all the equipment and set everyone up that they're going to be hiring. Um, and then they'll go from there. So this is just such a great opportunity, especially for our rural areas. Um, to work from home permanently full time, um, this is this is not normally uh, available to us, and especially now that the municipality, of course, that um, Alfred mentioned that they're working on um, improving the internet services that our rural areas uh, receive. These kind of opportunities are going to start coming more and more. Um, um, it provides you with not having to worry about going out in the winter time, driving. You don't have to worry about having reliable transportation, which a lot of people, um, especially if it's if if it's a second person that's that's working in the family, a lot of times you only have one vehicle, so you know you don't have to worry about that. Uh, how am I going to get to work? Kind of thing. Um, Childcare, where the the company is so flexible on their um, shifts. Um, so it's, it's just a great opportunity to get out of that cycle of EI seasonal um, employment. Um, and that doesn't come around very often. Alfred, how is the municipality participating? Well, as uh, you know, very interested, the, the, the municipality is very interested, of course, anything with that goes in with the economy and uh, and myself especially you know as the very warden and the, the counselor for this area and uh, we can we could promote you know uh, in other district as we move along my uh, you know it, it is uh, a start it is a, a small step but I feel that we are uh, 
you know, we're going the right direction. And, uh, you know, if the, we can get the interest and uh, have the backup of the company to, you know, get uh, to know each other and put the trust within the municipality, the city and, uh, and the support uh, company, that, that would be the ideal thing that we would have, you know. And also, I would have a few questions, if you don't mind, as I just moved along. And I think, Lisa, it would be to you. Uh, how many hours a week can you, can you put 40? Or is it up to each individual that wants to put 50? Or how does it work? <laughs> Well, we do definitely do 40 for our full time, and there will be opportunities for those who want to do overtime, especially yeah. with holiday coming up. It's going to be a busy Q4. Um, but for those who want more limited time, we do have part time shifts, which will be 25 hours. And then we're also ramping up with another client that we do every year just for their Q4 season. It's a, it's a high end holiday Christmas tree company. <laughs> And we're looking for 65 um, associates to, to do that work as well. And that might be of interest to people just for Christmas, but they can, like I said, there's a lot of flexibility and a lot of different ways that they can work with us. Um, would like to add too that the, where the company is growing so drastically, I think we've grown 300% this year. Um, there is a lot of opportunity for growth and advancement for these associates. So they may want to stay in the comfort of their home, but if they want it to apply for management jobs or leads or go somewhere else in the, in the country or the world, um, that opportunity will be there for them as well. So the opportunity is there for whoever wants to, you know, move, uh, move forward, you know, into the exactly. company. Yeah. Another question is, uh, you know, you said it's all inbound calls. So, in other words, there won't be any pressure calls, you know, uh, like, okay, Lisa, I got to call uh, Alfred Poirier and try to sell him a vacuum cleaner or something like this. No, no, no. <laughs> there's none of that. It's, it's the customers are calling us to place their orders. So, they, they want to do business with us. So, the, the company... Uh, you know the, the the you know the customer call the company, and mm -hmm. and the, the client as the, the receptionist I should say has the information where to go or to find out where she it, it is best suited for the client. Is that it? Yes, they part of the training will be accessing the order entry systems or the customer service systems that they would be able to. Uh, answer any of those customers questions or help them place an order yeah one more question you know and then i'll i'll let it go i what education would be required you know like i know like myself you know i'm i'm not too good at computers but i get used to it you know and I, i'm not a university degree or anything like you know uh but i you know like a basically did you know i'm too old for this job because i'm getting older but at the same time uh, you know I, I, what would be the basic education that you would need in order to get uh, you know a feel for this type of job uh, we're looking for high school or equivalent high school education um that would be our minimum and there would be um uh, some typing would be required to so be a typing test, you know, 25 words a minute. Some people can do that with one finger. So mm -hmm. uh, some data entry and their accuracy. Um, but that's it. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yes, I wanted to hear more about you, what you will be looking for. You said a minimum of high school uh, experience with customer service uh certain uh typing speed you said there's going to be a test what else are you looking for in an applicant so uh, that would be the the um sort of starting requirements and then um really it's just how they you know engage with the customer as we're doing the training but we do train them how to provide that service and how to talk to customers 
So there's testing along the way, but I really think just um, a great positive attitude and a willing to learn. And, um, and most people will, you know, I've had a lot of success with, with Alfred, with people a little older that they enjoy talking to people. I think that's the biggest key is they like to talk to people. And if you're a people person, I think we can train the rest. Can I add a bit to that? Um, sure. For our area, which we are a tourism related area, um, customer service, um, I think I think we are born <laughs> with the with the customer service here in the Shetty Camp area, and we're very renowned for that as well. So I think um, this is going to be a good fit for a lot of our of our agents, and then of course our bilingual francophone um, agents will have the opportunity to to uh, to use their beautiful language. Um, and get paid for it too. So that's a great point. Thank you, Paula. I mean, um, <laughs> could you tell me more about the application process, Lisa? You said there's going to be some testing. Um, so, are there several interviews? How? What would it look like when somebody applies? So um, we're going to interview live right then and there. So that'll be done. And then we'll give them a link. Um, it's just on the on a web page to take a typing test. Um, we should be able to make decisions. Well, we will be making decisions very quickly because um, we will have interviewed, tested the typing test and selected um, by Friday and then Saturday we will be delivering equipment. So that's that's pretty much it. How should somebody prepare for Wednesday? What should they have with them for the fair? They would need their resume with them and it would be great if they could bring um, a few references. When does the job start? Training starts Monday, September 28th coming quick. <laughs> now, I would have a question. These uh, <clears throat> time again. Uh, like in North Sydney, are they, do you have a, like a building where your group is located or is it all individually separated like uh, you know, on the Zoom and uh, different homes or different offices or et cetera? So before COVID, yes, we still have our facility and we have space here for 150 associates. Um, but right now, everyone is working from home. Yeah, I get you. Yes. I'm wondering Please. if internet might be an issue because yes, uh, Fiverr is coming, but it won't be in until a few months. And if it's starting on Monday, so between now and, and then, um, you know, if people have a few issues with internet, would that be a problem? I think that would be the biggest challenge for us because um, without, you know, the specific upload and download speeds, so have them right, right, yes, upload is two megabytes per second. And download is five megabytes per second. I think um, we definitely need to meet those minimums or we'll, we'll have some issues with them connecting to um, customer service screens and also talking to the customer over, over internet. Um, the other option would, be, would probably be a challenge would be the, you know, people can come here, but it's a bit of a distance. So I think that would be an eliminator, unfortunately, until we could get something more high speed. Well, and, and there could be possibly, Lisa, an opportunity that if, and, and I'll say that the link to test your high, your high speed is provided and will be provided for, for everyone to, to test to see if their home, if their internet speed at home is fast enough. However, if we see that um, there's, a few that are, because I myself, I tested here at the university, it would have passed. I tested it at, at my home, it would have passed as well. 
um, and I'm with Bell. Um, I've had people test with Acadian Communication, which is our local provider here, and they've they would have passed as well. However, if there's some few, perhaps we could work with the municipality to see if we could facilitate until the fiber op becomes available, um, a place um, uh, with with maybe two or three rooms that agents would be able to to do that until they uh, are able to get um, high speed enough for this opportunity. We wouldn't really want to see anybody miss out on this opportunity because of their high speed. So I'm sure that we can work um, um, to, to, to see that everyone is able to, to get this opportunity until we do have that uh, higher speed of internet available. That's fantastic. Oh. Right. So should somebody get in contact with you, or Alfred, if they want to apply, but they don't have internet that fast? Uh, how could people uh, connect with the municipality about it? Well, the best, I think the best uh, solution right off the bat would be to get in touch with me, you know, because, uh, you know, locally here and I, uh, you know, I could take it to the municipality if there is a, a good number or, you know, depending on how, how it's going to end up. Eh? So I think it would be appropriate, you know, if you would go, they would come through me and, um, you know, I'll give you my uh, phone number and my email after, you know, so that we can. And also, uh, you know, I think we should try to... Uh, to, you know, to move this forward as soon as possible. There is a need, 28 is fast. And also, uh, of course, I'm always looking to the long-term uh, relationship with the company. If we ever, if you ever, ever thought, let's say it would go uh, according to your plans and everybody's plan that, that we would have a fixed building here with maybe 40 or 50 available here in Chattagam. Would that be something in the plan, in, you know, if it did go good? Uh, yeah, that would be actually a great um, help for us and it would be actually simpler because we could go there with the 40, deliver the equipment, and really um, help in the training if they're all in one location. So that would definitely be something we'd be interested in partnering with you on as well. Yeah, because that would be, you know, as we move along, it'd be great. But then as uh, the counselor and a community builder, it would, be in, it would be quite a feat if we could go and open this and then get be, more people to move in into our community and our Pleasant Bay or Beat Cove or anywhere at all, you know, and uh, have access to, you know, they could have it here. Plus, they still have the online option. That would be great. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for the partnership from CNA and Nova Scotia Works and, and Alfred and... CHNE, everyone, it's been, I'm really excited about the opportunity and I think there is going to be a lot more uh, and I'm looking forward to kicking this off with a bang and, and keeping on going. So we couldn't do it without you and I appreciate that. I, uh, if I may, I would like to, uh, like Lisa said, you know, thank you, Seal, the city and you and all the the other organization behind this. And, uh, you know, it is very interesting. And also, uh, before I give my phone number and my email, I would like to say that I'm going to try to go on the local radio station tomorrow and maybe bring it up to uh, the community for, uh, you know, to hear about on the French version and the body duel and. Uh, English and everybody that do listen to the radio station. So uh, it's a perfect opportunity and uh, it seems to be well organized with a lot of backup from uh, all these organizations and yourself, Lisa, with a company that is being backed up by uh, locally in North Sydney, which we can say, and also the 
all across, well, all across the, the, the world. So uh, I'm, I'm going to finish and say that my phone number is 902-224-0097. And it's Alfred dot Poirier, P-O-I-R-I-E-R, -I -I at InvernessCounty.ca. So, and I thank uh, all ladies for, you know, a good advancement and the good work that you're doing. We're going to broadcast the presentation before the job fair this Wednesday at 10 a.m. on our Facebook page. Later, at 11 a.m., you can log through Zoom to participate. Remember to have your resume ready and a few references. You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.